Hello everyone, this is Johannes. And this is Cinema. And you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And today we are taking a look at Algae Inc. This is a new game coming to Game Found from Game Brewer. It's designed by Julia Thiemann and Christoph Wagge. It plays from two to four players in two hours. Algae Inc. It's a new game, as I just said. You are working for an algae company. You're working in four different departments and you're trying to be the department of the month. So you're working through a whole month of trying hard to make the best products out of the algae, sending it off to, off to Europe and being the master of algae development and fabricating and making things with it so it can be eaten or worn or used for different things like a bag. Yes. Yes, those are things you will do in this game. Um, obviously this is a prototype of the game. This video is going to be telling you about the game, seeing if it might be something for you. We cannot tell you if this is something you should back or not because there's so many games to back on on GameFound, Kickstarter, everything. So we cannot go into like the, the we can't tell you why or stuff like that. We don't know the price point yet, so you have to check that out for yourself. But let's dive into the game. As I said, the game is about an algae company. You're going to play one of four different departments uh, and you are going to have different player boards depending on which department you are playing as. So the game is kind of asymmetrical. Even though you're doing many of the same things, it's not a game where you're doing like completely different things, but the way you do things will probably be different. What you're trying to do on your turn, which is it's kind of like a worker movement game. You're going to work your movement up a pot depending on where you place your worker the last turn. You have different choices for the next turn. So you're going to do five actions each week, it's like one day to Friday. Then you're going to have like some stuff that's going to be happening during the week. Weekend, no fun. You're just gonna get stuff if you have enough energy to, to get stuff during your weekend. And then you're gonna start a new round with some income because income is important. You are gonna use this board, so you have another board, we're gonna talk more about that later. Where you're gonna have a lot of pieces you're gonna see on the pictures. Of course, everything's gonna be prototype. Uh, and you're trying to process algae that you get into different products all the way over here and all of these different boards are going to be different but that is basically what you're trying to do you're trying to get the algae process it and transfer it into the world into europe there's different other ways as well to do to go about getting points in the game but that is the brief overview of algae inc mm -hmm. The game has artwork and components it and it is prototype, mm -hmm. but I really like the dual layer player boards yes. in this game. It is very essential with so many pieces, pieces. that you can yes. move because a lot of the game you're going to move pieces from one place to another mm -hmm. to have, have dedicated spaces for them so you don't move them around. Yeah. Um, this the oh, artwork is fine enough, but this is a game where I think like functionality mm -hmm. over over prettiness yes a and i'm fine with that yeah i like the artwork i think it's pleasant to look at i enjoy the kind of it reminds me of some video games where just like oh, the, yeah. the factory style uh, and it's, it's like a colorful factory it's not a, a beige euro factory uh, so for me i enjoy the artwork but of course that's going to be different from person uh, to person uh, i'm very happy about the size of the main board yes. I'm, I'm going to say main board but like the main it's thing in this board. game are the player boards and those are fairly big and there's a good reason for that but but this is the main board and i love the size because they could have jumbled it up like yes. we see a lot of board games do these days mm -hmm. so i'm super happy about the size of that i'm very happy you said it because i had it in my brain and i forgot it so i'm happy about that because every player is gonna have this that so is big, it's gonna be like a but big it thing. has to be that way yeah or else it would be horrible so i i, I agree with you 100 percent it makes the game way smaller because, as I said, you're doing. You have another board as well with the with the which is a changeable with with the with the action spaces. Yes. But that also, as you see in the pictures, is not very big. The game has a rule book. And I'm not going to go deeply into it because it's here. It's just a rule book. It's only online. It's still very much work in progress, but it is good enough. So, like, if they don't change everything from that and make all of those things worse. It's probably going to be a good rulebook, but I cannot tell you, oh, the rulebook for this game is going to be amazing. Probably, usually nowadays, people have the rulebook up during the GameFound campaign, so you can go and check out the rulebook there. If it's not there, just know that it's, it's going to be readable, and if you've played Game Brewer games before, they are usually good. Yeah, and we have played the game with three and four players, mm -hmm. and it has taken us two to three hours. Yeah, the three hours was the learning game yes. for four people, so that, that did take 
quite a long time yes. to get into. And this is a game where where it's it feels quite different the first time you play it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that four hours you could easily get down that down to less. Yeah, and it was only three hours. So, oh, so yeah, we sorry. already got it down four to three hours. Four hours sounds horrible. Yes, so so before we even played, we got to play it and down from four, four hours to <laughs> three hours. That good. Let's talk about the game. The game is, as I said, like a worker movement game where you have this path. So I'm going to choose an action in the first day of the week. And then after that, that's going to give me one or two choices, depending on where I place, to then do the next action. And that again is going to give me two, one or two more options for the next action. You're doing five actions, which isn't that much. Mm -hmm. And for me, I usually try to, to plan the whole thing. Yes. Like planning all the actions mm -hmm. I wanted to do before I started the first round so that I had a plan. Do you agree with that? Like you, uh, yeah, you 100%. need that plan to know what you want to do. Yes. Yeah. So at the beginning of each like week, <laughs> yes. uh, thematically, mm -hmm. I I think it's going to be a little moment of AP for all yeah. players because you, you're you limiting yourself by those choices you make mm -hmm. in the beginning. Um, but I think it's nice because then you have a very specific plan for yeah. all the rest of the week and then turns flow pretty quickly. Yeah, because most of the time people can't like mess with your plan in a big way mm -hmm. they can do some things take alga you need it and now there's no left and stuff like that but there's not like huge things the other players can do yes so just to say that now this is not like a hugely interactive game no like there are things that are important for the other people but it's mostly a optimization puzzle of trying to do the best you can with the puzzle you have been given yes just want to talk briefly about the different actions you can do yeah because there's really only three different kind of main actions to choose from one of them is going to be get more stuff and there's three different kind of stuff and when you get more stuff you get to buy one you get to have to pay something depending on where two you or three coins yeah two or three coins depending on where you want to place them on your board you'll get a bonus and probably some victory points after a little while or a lot of victory points if you get like further into the game or get many of the same kind that you can do which will then evolve or make another action better or you can activate stuff so there's three different stuff and you activate one of them when you do an action. Most of the actions on the queue, when you call it the queue, like the action queue, yeah. is going to be activate this specific one. Uh, and I'm going to say it now. Mm -hmm. I love these little tokens, the, these, the question mark tokens. You can use kind of like a semi-joker mm -hmm. that makes you change out. So even though, okay, this, this, this like mm, way I made to myself, it goes to the... Uh, the operator, but I really want the scientists, but I can if I have one of these tokens. Yes, I agree. It makes a really rigid, otherwise rigid puzzle mm -hmm. feel more flexible and you feel like, okay, I, I can do my plan yep. if I use these resources to utilize it. If you spend time getting those tokens, yes, of that's course, true. which is important. The operator lets you get algae and also deliver algae products into Europe to complete deliveries and milestones. And delivering the products in themselves don't get you like direct points. Which is, was, uh, it's I was so confused weird. when yes. I played the game the first time. I was like, how do I get points? But you want to see the milestones that mm -hmm. are changeable from game to game. Yes. What you want to achieve and then trying to get like the, the most of them as mm -hmm. possible because yeah. the points you get from the milestones are going to be a big chunk of the points that you get in mm -hmm. the game and you also get some bonuses from being the first player to, to do a delivery in a city. Yes, you also want to do these deliveries and the milestones because you're unlocking these double action tiles on your board. Every time you do a delivery, you're going to get one more money income at the beginning of each week. And every time you do a milestone, you're going to get a point at the end, beginning of each week. But each of these that you do both the delivery and the milestone, you unlock a tile. And those you can use when you do an action, you can discard it to do that action again. Which is very powerful because you are you are basically like choosing to do the actions or to do this, uh, to, to, to do the double action or get the points. Mm -hmm. I really like that kind of balance. Like you're trying, okay, is it worth it now? If I do it now, it's going to be four points. Is that enough for me to do that action now? which really adds to the puzzle of the game. Program. Yes, I agree. Let's go back to the other type of stuff. You also have the engineers and the scientists. Those are going to be easier to explain because they do kind of the same thing. This game is about upgrading your board. You have a lot of pieces on your board. You're going to have a lot of these science tiles laying up here 
and covering things that are going to be better when you unlock them. And also, on the Titan Sport, you're going to see a picture as well, you're going to have an inlay here, which replaces a lot of these engineering tiles. So whenever you do an engineering action, you will be able to buy engineering tiles out from this board to open up this board, so that when you do the science action, you can use science points to place the tiles here, which are going to give you, that is unlocking things, over here and when you are taking engineer piles you're going to put them in here so you unlock bonuses as well so both of those actions are both unlocking also on the science board you will get bonuses for placing and you're going to get a lot of points if you manage to build a contagious group of these tiles by the end of the game i like that puzzle it mm -hmm. feels a little weird at first like oh i'm going to swap yes. these the the places of these mm -hmm. tiles but what you unlock really affects the way that you play the game mm -hmm. because you're not going to do everything. That's true. So, uh, and as you said, you have completely different boards and mm -hmm. abilities that you can unlock. So it's all about making your projection line better, more efficient, or, or making it less bad yes. sometimes. And also um, having, having the space to actually do the things that you want to do. Yeah, the, the last action is the factories, and you're going to have three of them, you're going to have like factory A, factory B, and factory C. Uh, and when you activate factory A, you can do like everything in this part of the board. Factory B, you can do everything here, and factory C, you can do everything here. Not going to go deeply into it, but there's like different upgrades here as well. You can get byproduct, you can like get um, algae basically from a common pool, you can, you have some time, you have to pay them, you will get energy, you will do all which then you can use for other actions, and all of you trying to make like an efficient puzzle with upgrading, for example, so when you do this, when you do something from here until A, you also get like three B movements, so you can get them over here, so when you do B, you have a better B action, and all of these things which, which make this puzzle interesting as well. I really enjoyed that part of the game, it feels kind of, the first time you play it, yes. but it's a very fun part of the game. I agree. There is four different uh, style of game, like four different departments you're playing. They are different because they they have different puzzles, different abilities, different upgrades, different products, how the products work, uh, but they are not like wildly asymmetrical. I will say though, for me as the teacher, mm -hmm. that is like the biggest hurdle of this game, yes. is to teach all of these four things. Yeah. Especially when you have only played the game a couple times yourself, it's still going to be like, oh, I haven't played that one, so I don't really remember how that works, and, and going through all of that. And I see like that as a, my main negative for the game. Mm -hmm. It's going to be that. Like it's it's a harder game to teach because of that. Yeah, but it also is one of the main positives of the things. Like I agree. playing the actual game. Mm -hmm. I feel like those, those departments that I have played, mm -hmm. I can see them being played in a totally different style yes. that I can do like, like oh I can do some other upgrades and mm -hmm. do do an other algae type and now my production line will feel different so it isn't only four types of puzzles nope, you have that much like I can say depth mm -hmm. in one puzzle as well so I feel like I could go through each one of those departments multiple times oh, yeah. and be be like n having still just scratched the surface kind of as I have to say like the the point of entry is a bit high. Yeah, but I agree. The variability and the depth feels very high as well. Yes. So like, it's less. For example, like for me, when I talk about asymmetrical games, the first one I think about is Root. Mm -hmm. Root is way more asymmetrical and way more stuff to yes. teach. If you have tried teaching Root, this is going to be way easier because here, like everyone is doing the same kind of thing. Yeah. Everybody just have to understand their own different abilities yes. and I really hope that all the players are going to get their own player aid with all the, the possibilities for all yes. of the different uh, uh, upgrades and sign tokens for that player board mm -hmm. which will make the game way smoother and I hope that's going to be in I it. I agree. Let's talk a bit about the weight Yeah. and who is it for? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think it's like a medium plus. I think so too. Medium plus is the way I would say yeah. it is. So, so it's, 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 it's not all the way up to heavy. I think like the thing that is putting it up is the teaching of all the four different yeah. ones and making it hard to just jump right into. But everything you do is not super complex. I agree. Mm -hmm. I, I think this is going to be fantastic for people who are the same group. Mm -hmm. Like you can play it many times. Like we know most people don't play their games 10, 15, 20 times because that's how it is. 
uh, because there's so many games and you want to play them. Uh, but I think this will be a game that for those groups is going to be fantastic. And also it's not that much extra to not make it worth it for normal gamers I who agree. maybe play their game five mm. times something like that. Yes, because you have these high points of variability and mm -hmm. these low points because the map will be the same. Yep. Uh, so there's interaction on, on where the deliveries happen yes. uh, and the milestones and such. Uh, and you're trying to do kind of the same thing, mm -hmm. thing but it's like the path of getting there yep. and trying to be efficient with, with your player board and figure out how to maximize your department. Yeah, and the game, the game board is not going to be completely the same because you are placing the value of all the tokens oh, yeah, of all the cities true. in different places. Yes. So it's going to actually change up quite a bit by that mm -hmm. as well. But the other things are higher. And um, we don't usually do like big final thoughts in previews. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything you want to add? I have a couple of things I want to add. Do you yeah. have anything to say? No, I think I've d d said what I wanted to yes. say. I Did like the game. You like the game. Yeah, yeah. I like the game a lot. I, I actually think this is a, a, a great game. I, as we always say, these previews are not to tell you to go back this game. It's not trying to be kind of like a, a, a 20 minute ad. It is more our feelings of the game. And I like this game. And I know you can't back all the games. So you have to see for yourself if this is one that you want to back. But it was one I enjoyed. And another one recently that I would really like to play again. Yes, I um, agree. Because it is a lot of fun and, and, and we enjoyed putting it. Yes. So that's going to be the end. Thank mm -hmm. you for watching. Hope this video made you understand if the game might be for you or not. And, or if it didn't, you can check out other videos. Probably some playthroughs coming as well. So go and check out those videos to find out if this might be something for you. If it isn't, back something else. If you don't want to back anything, play one of the hundreds of games you already have on your shelves. That's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. But if you are here and you're new, you can do stuff yes. which is free, yeah. giving us victory points. Yes, and we get victory points when you click that subscribe button. You can also click the bell to get notifications every time we post a new video. That's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Sidwa. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.